okay. we're working on on Monday. Yeah. Um, no. Library uh, building to see if the town. Uh, Are we doing a warrant? Library warrant goes on Monday. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And, uh, um, and the highway. Highway. Yep. And also um, town garage upgrades. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you want these? Could I? Sure. I wish you need anything out of this one. Well, Gordon is here. Could I speak on the warrant article for the library? Sure. Obviously, that's been a, a, a topic. Members of the public have had a number of conversations with me about their support for the pending library warrant article. I've listened to their, a number of methods of paying for the project. I therefore ask that we receive the following types of payment plan. 15-year bond, 15-year construction loan, and the amount needed to be raised by taxes um, and the effect on the tax rate. Is there any way you can get that information? You're asking me to go out and price bonds and go out and... No, but, but do you have any information that would support that, the, the payment, or do we need to do that? Need to call Jack Whitmer is coming in Monday. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Jack can call okay. on. Okay. Yeah. Bond okay. Bond mm -hmm. I'd be glad to send that to him if you'd like yeah. questions. Here you go. Excuse me. Okay, thanks. Anything else on warrant articles? Okay. Um, Diane wants to, wants us to sign um, the benefit services agreement. Can we have her come in and speak yep. to speak to it? Sure. Any folks read this? She was studying it this morning. This is the management of the health signal. Yeah. 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 She'll be right in. Okay. <coughs> Happy New Year. Happy New Year. They're reviewing the uh, paperwork. Yeah, I could just have it so I have something to look at. There's a lot of stuff in here. There's three documents here. Um, pre pretty much pertains to the uh, FSA portion of the um, health insurance piece where the employee puts in their money for medical expenses not paid for the health insurance. And so um, because a health trust is managing the FSA for the town, um, they, you know, they've outlined the, um, the type of, you know, the, the, how the service is going to be uh, managed and what our obligations are and what their obligations are to manage the FSA. And these are pretty much boilerplate um, documents that are renewed every year. So they've been doing the management? Interlocal trusts are, last year it was our health, uh, was our health uh, insurance carrier. Right, but didn't FSA? But they was the same type of okay. plan, the same type of documents. I didn't see a Schedule A2, which itemizes the uh, cost. They refer to a Schedule A2. What do we pay for this? Well, for the FSA, uh, we're not paying anything. They okay. waive the fee. All right. 
So maybe that's why there's no payment schedule. That, that, that's my, that's, yeah, that, that's my answer. Yeah. Right. Okay, um, so uh, it goes through all the definitions of the terms in the document, benefit, uh, advantage, service agreement. Uh, this is the agreement um, you know, of the uh, managing of the FSA by Health Trust and <coughs> outlining here, you know, what your obligations are, our obligations, which would be, you know, to notify them if we have an employee who's terminated and left or we have new enrollments, um, you know, and that um, when they pay out, we are going to reimburse them um, but they paid out at a prompt time. And also um, that we are responsible for collecting the um, monies from the employees' paychecks. So, so we actually hold the money? Yeah, okay. when we do payroll, we pay them. correct. Okay. They reimburse the employee, they give us a bill of what that is, and we, we uh, take it out of the uh, withdrawals from the employees' pay. That's uh, done monthly, I believe. And then um, this, then there's the HIPAA piece to it, and this is basically um, our obligations and their obligations on uh, safeguarding um, the employees' um, medical private information mm -hmm. you know, that we, you know, they outline, you know, that um, we use appropriate safeguards that, that uh, comply. And, applicable to um, this document and the HIPAA regulations. And then the section 125, uh, this is the agreement. It pretty much outla uh, uh, outlines the plan. Um, for example, we have a minimum of $100 that the employee, if they want to participate, we need to contribute. And then we have a max of $2250. And we can, you know, we can um, uh, limit that. We can increase it to 200. We can reduce it to 1,000, up to 1,000. But the IRS, the IRS allows 2250. We, we um, opt for the maximum amount. And then um, also for dependent care. Child care um, is, is also part of this, but we don't really have any employees who participate in that. Um, it's basically the a plan design of you know whether we have you know what the limits are, as I had just you know, mentioned. Uh, let's see. And your recommendation is that we sign this, correct? Yeah. Otherwise. You know, then we're not going to be able to offer that uh, FSA yep. um, benefit. I will move approval. Second. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Motion passes 3 0. And I think they're all sin single signature documents. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Does the board have anything else before we adjourn? I don't care. Is there a motion to adjourn? Do you want to have a public comment? Or it's up to you. I don't know if we have the public here. There's one. Yeah. I would just like to, uh, based on your conversation with Carla earlier, do the Board of Selectmen intend to uh, get more clear delineation definition of what has been published, the legality of what has been published on a website? Is this legal for us to have access to? as far as budget committee members, as far as members of the community. Are you going to do anything on it? Or are we going to rely on the past opinion of uh, Attorney Buck? I think we certainly should explore the issue in order of our you know, legal help and do whatever we can to make get some clarity here. I certainly think, appreciate it. My, my point was that I don't think there's anything we can do about what's on the <coughs> But I certainly think we should. Have well, I, I would I would debate that if it's, if it's indeed an illegal, if it's, that document was published on an illegal illegal basis based on the RSAs, then yes, I think there is something that you could do about it. But that's an opinion, and I'm not going to pursue that at this point. I would just like to know if the selectmen are going to get a clear delineation of what is going on in this. Yeah. 
It puts a lot of people in a bubble. Yeah, and I, I including you know members of the budget committee. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Mr. Chairman, I, I would ask that if public input is going to be sought at the end of a work session, it should be listed on the agenda. Otherwise, oh, we should stick I, to the agenda. I apologize. Accepted. I modified the agenda without asking my fellow selectmen if it was appropriate. But I'm, I'm that being said, since public input wasn't on the agenda, I wish I hadn't said anything, but I see no need for it. Just to clarify, I did not ask Carla to apologize. Yes, when? It's in the email. Yeah, I think you did, Max. You did? I, I read the email and I thought there was a, an ask for an apology. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm doing a word search for apologize and it's not in the email. I, I asked you to correct the record. You asked me to apologize. I asked you to state that you are wrong. <laughs> Folks, <laughs> Mr. Chairman, take control of this. Anything, Please. anything else? Okay, we're good. Is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. A second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes 3 0. Thank you, folks. Try not to get blown away. That wind is picking up. Yeah, it is. <laughs>